Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey from Red Color, and this is Nancy Jean in the Garden. And we are here together as the Weekly Wonderings duo, the Weekly Wonderings dynamic duo. <laughs> Our name keeps growing. We're trying to spend the time. <laughs> We read on five energies every week. Uh, the five energies that we read on are body, mind, spirit, grounding, and clarity. This is for the week of the uh, January 14th through the 20th, which includes Martin Luther King Day. And um, I read five tarot cards. Nancy Jean reads five crystals in the garden. Uh, we both offer uh, other services. All the information is below. Uh, please be in touch. Please like the video. And you have anything else to say? No, just you know that uh, we both we do offer other kinds of readings of all different stripes. If you go to our websites, you can see that, and that should be listed in the information below. And uh, that's it for advertising today, kids. So, okay, ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Toss those crystals. Oh, God, they're all over the place. Okay, that's fun. This is interesting. All right, for body, I have the chariot. Oh, good. The chariot is such an interesting card. The chariot is about swiftness. The chariot um, the chariot uh, has confidence, has a lot of confidence. To me, the chariot has this energy of... Um, it's like, it's my first time out and... Um, I'm going to prove something, but it's not about proving it to other people. It's about proving it to yourself. Right. So it's this energy of like, well, you know, I've never really tried this before, but I really want to. And um, I'm, I'm really gung ho about it. And and I know I can do it. And I, I'm going to execute my plan. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of like behind it. There's also an, an element of intuition in it because it's part of a cancer. And if you look really closely, it has two little moons. Mm -hmm. Shoulder. Yep. Mm -hmm. and third eye is a lid. The other uh, uh, understanding I have is that he's going off into a place he's never been before, right? right. <laughs> going off into, the, into space in a way. Body. Mind. Mind is really interesting. So mind has this element of, you know what? Because I, I see the other cards already. You know what? It's like, sometimes I feel really limited and I feel like I boundary myself and I confine myself. But I but because the chariot's here and I have the other cards that are coming, it's like I've decided to break free of that. I, I, I realize that I put a lot of stuff in my own way. Mm -hmm. you know? to like be done with that okay. body mind and spirit says i've cried my tears i have a vision of the future and i'm moving forward mm -hmm. i'm also going to be patient with myself because all queens have an energy of patience mm -hmm. it's not going to happen oh i decided to make a million dollars and i pressed the button and i made a million dollars it's it's it might be a little yeah. more involved than that body mind spirit Sounding is really clear and really abundant. Really clear and really abundant, and really aware of, um, of all the blessings. Really aware of the blessings that are already present and the ones yet to come. And it's almost calling it in, right? Allowing them to grow, body, spirit, grounding, and then clarity. This is really interesting. Um, what used to work doesn't really satisfy me anymore, and I'm being called towards something greater that I never really imagined before. I, I feel like that there's this element and this energy of I could be bigger. I can try something. I can step out a little bit and go toward the thing that I feel is going to make me fulfilled. It's a very hopeful energy. Yeah, that's great. I've got the same thing. Remember last week, uh, the mind was in a little bit in water. Well, now it's completely in water, and that says let go of all the limitations you put on yourself. Your spirit has been going through a purification where you've been looking at your past and deciding how to live with um, things, how to rethink situations, and how to work with them. The, the solar plexus um, is 
is the chakra that your energy ended up in. And that's absolutely marvelous because this burns out all self-doubt and whatever's blocking your power. When your energy ends up here, it knows where it needs to go. And you're embodying it and moving forward because air is always moving up into the intellectual side of things. And uh, it's, it's <clears throat> excuse me, it's grounding your thoughts and making them very, very real. So everything you've been doing here has been working. Now this is like your chariot card. That's the clarification. And it's in fire. And fire kind of burns it out. It sort of purifies it. And it clarifies what you've learned in the past that you're bringing forward. And this is just a marvelous time for projects, whatever you think about doing, just moving forward. All the signs for the collective are that this is going to be a great time to restart, rebuild, and redo. Beautiful. Mm. Blessings. Blessings.